Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my playthrough of GTA Chinatown War. So we're continuing where we left off. Let's read our um, latest email here. We got an email, let's see. Uh, from Sin Xiao Ming. Uh, subject, ledgers. The new ledge, uh, uh, oh, uh, the new leader of those disloyal Korean scumbags shows me no respect. Me. And to thank all the respect I've, uh, I've allowed them to show me over the years. And now they want freedom? Who, what do they think this is? America? <laughs> well, it is America. I must know what their intentions are. Go to their safe house and obtain whatever information you can. If they try to stop you, it'll only be proof they have something to hide. My men at Chase Point will accompany you. And should the Koreans' files incriminate anyone, including you, my men will ensure justice is swift. Don't mess, uh, mess me around with this. Sin Xiao Ming. Okay. Who's this? Rudy D. Avanzo. Subject, salute. Mr. Lee, do you think it's a co coincidence that soon after the triads and mobs start working together, the triads got turned over by the feds, but the mob didn't? You've got a rat, and I know who it is. Help me uh, trap him, and we'll all be, be better off. Meet me at the cemetery in Steinway. I'm, I'm uh, genuine. I hope you are too. Rudy D. Avanzo. Okay. Looks like that guy might be involved with the mafia. Okay. Okay, let's go see um, Sin right now, then. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Friend or foe? Sin has given us the authority to do whatever it takes to get those files. Whatever it takes, why don't we just uh, ask to see them? They are supposed to be loyal to Sin, right? Nobody needs to get hurt. I wonder why Sin thinks you're the rat. You're more like the village idiot. Come on, let's go and pick up some toys. Collect the explosives, okay. Okay, so this is actually really close to that warehouse where, um... Yeah. This is in Bohan, the same borough where Roman got kidnapped. And this is actually that place where Billy got his bike back in the Lost and Damned here. to the Korean building, okay. Plant the explosive while Sin's men guard the entrance. Yeah, this this is a bad idea. They should have just asked for the files to doing this first, but... Uh... Oh. Repeat the... Armed? Okay. Get back in the van? Okay. Get our AK-47 out. I've been wanting to use this. Wow, look at what the AK-47 did. Nice, right? Okay. Take the safe back to the garage. Okay, let's go then. They're probably gonna chase us. Yeah, I knew it.
Wow. Place the electronic stethoscope on the safe, okay. Rotate the dial slowly until the meter reaches its peak and the combination. Repeat this three times. Till it reaches its peak. Okay, I'm a little confused what I gotta do here. Okay. Okay, looks like 8 is the, um... Wait, what? No, it was zero. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I thought I had it there. Okay, I'm sorry guys, it's getting a little bit confused by this minigame. Rotate until the meter reaches its peak and enter the combination. Okay. Okay, it's two then. How do I enter it though? Um... Okay, there we go. Seems you're not mentioned in the file, Swan. Sin will be disappointed. You can go, but remember, we'll be watching you. Huh. <laughs> you're a scumbag, you know that. Okay, um... I guess, um, uh, let's go go over and see, uh, Lester then now, because we do have the ecstasy that he wanted anyways. Oh, drug van here. Let's 
see what's in here. I hope this time we get something that's worth it, because last time we got nothing. Please be something good this time. Okay. Seven ass, it's actually not that bad. Okay. We got a dealer right here, too. Okay. Take this car, it's fast one. Let's get over to see Lester. Okay, so this is going to be the guy who infiltrated the Angels of Death. Double Trouble. Lester. Finally, I thought you were never going to br bring me that gear, Huang. It's nice to have my credibility doubted by a walking coronary <laughs> gimp costume. Costume? These are my regular friends. Besides, I've got to blend in with the Angels of Death, and they're bikers. Blend in how? By looking like an idiot having an early midlife crisis. In that case, you've nailed it. Listen, man, I'm trying to see if these fools are protecting your boss's rat. The stuff you brought me will get me through the door, but I can't ride for anything. You're gonna ha have to pretend to be me and pass their initiation test. We're virtu oh, virtually twins, but I might just quickly um, need to gain a few pounds. Relax, Ad Adonis. You wear my spare jacket and ride my bike, those uh, meathead deadbeats will never know. Now, um, is Huang wearing a helmet? Because that's gonna be the only way that he can get through this. Because, um, the Angels, the Angels of Death are actually a white supremacist, um, biker gang. So that's it. So if they see Huang, an Asian guy in, um, uh, you biker jacket, you know, they're gonna attack him. So I can't tell, is Huang wearing a helmet or not, but... Okay, let's see. I haven't really driven a motorcycle in this game. But yeah, a lot of people actually don't know that about the Angels of Death. The Angels of Death are white supremacists. Um, they are, if you read their website, it talks about that, and so they're much worse than the Lost. Um, you know, the Lost MC, you know, as bad as they are, you know, you know, they aren't racist, they're not sexist, and the Lost MC doesn't really, you know, get into the heroin trade. They did that under Billy. But, um, you know, the Angels of Death are just ruthless. You know, they're very, um, you know, some really, really bad guys. In order to infiltrate the Angels of Death for Lester, you will have to pass their initiation test posing as him. Earn respect by riding with style through gang territory. And chase their arch rivals, the Lost, off their turf. So the Lost are in this game too. Perform a burnout to get the bikers to tap brake, and then slide to accelerate, and then to initiate a burnout, then quickly release. Okay. Whoa, okay. And the Angels of Death are actually much bigger than the Lost. Um, they have um, they have chapters in all 50 states. Okay, so 
this is this is the remnants of the lost in um in Liberty City. Bikers, okay. I think that's have to be careful because I can easily get knocked off. I'm making so many turns. Lester at the rendezvous point, but I think one of them got away. You're doing good, um, a baby, but these explosives will bring the house down once and for all. Get back on the bike? Okay. The ramp to jump into the park, okay. Plant explosives at the base of the monoglobe? Oh, this is gonna be. This would be a federal crime at this point. Destroying a landmark like this? Okay. Okay, it's armed. What the? Yeah, this would definitely be a federal crime. Um, with riding like that, I'm in the gang for sure. Thanks, baby. Well, um, yeah, that's going to attract a lot of attention. Every single... If something like that actually happened, as ridiculous that is, every single, you know, major government agency and also all the police agencies in New York would be all over the Angels of Death if anything like that happened. <laughs> Let's go see Lester again, then. Aw, oh, man, I'm drunk and I'm effed. What's wrong, fat man? I've been partying hard with the angels digging up for more info on that FIB rat. I was real discreet. I didn't give anything away. Stone cold. The problem is I'm too uh, craft paced to complete the angels' final initiation test. S uh, sell a bunch of their merchandise. What the F is wrong with you? They wanted me to prove I wasn't a narc, so I was smoking coke laced bong hits for two days. Give me an effin' break. I thought my effin' heart was gonna stop. You've gotta sell th their crap for me, buddy. I'm middle uh, age, overweight, and about to die of a coronary. Yeah, Huang is gonna lose his patience with uh, Lester. Okay, find a buyer. whole mission?
uphill. This seems easy enough. Oh, now there's more rival dealers. Okay. What they're... Well, now I'm going to shoot back. Almost done here. Oh great, now I got the police on me. This just keeps getting be better and better. I didn't mean to shoot the dealer, okay. Okay, I got like, what, two bags of, of, of coke left? Okay. Ah, man, it's getting a bit annoying now. Okay, last one. Okay, take that. Get to the drop-off point. Okay. Now, um, uh, what Lester said is that they they wanted to make sure it wasn't a narc. A narc is basically a um, you know. Possibly DEA agent, Drug Enforcement Administration, or, you know, undercover cop. That's what, you know, that's a term for. Um, and um, this is also, this happens in real life as well, just letting people know that um, uh, gangs will make people take a sample of the drugs to make sure that they aren't cops. That happens in real life. Um, but here's the thing about this, is that um, uh, in the past, it was actually, uh, I'll answer this one more, let's fin finish this right here. It's all gone. Now take the angels, uh, their drug money. Your life's here, baby. I'm gonna remember you in my will. Please don't. I'm gonna want to forget we ever met. <laughs> no. Okay, so what I was, um... What I was saying is that, uh, basically, um, in the past... It was actually illegal for police to actually take, um, you know, drugs, even when they're when they're undercover and every and like that. And what happened was, a, a, there was a DEA agent. Um, I don't remember the specifics of the case, but basically what happened was there was an agent who was undercover. This really happened, and he was told to, um, uh, you know, he was told to take drugs as a sample. And he was making some excuses, and you know, the gang saw right through it, and they blew him away. They just shot and killed him. And, um, and what happened was, after that, the policy changed. And so, under extreme circumstances where their life is in danger, undercover cops are allowed to take drugs. That, um, uh, but Lester is not an undercover cop, he's a private investigator. But it's, um, uh, in the S, in, you know, in the example of undercover cops, that's basically it. Um, now, um, uh, also another thing, um, so, a lot of people actually don't know that, what I said about the Angels of Death. A lot of people don't know that the Angels of Death are white supremacists. They are. 
Um, uh, that's the main difference between them and the Lost. The Angels of Death are much bigger. They have chapters in all 50 states. They're the largest biker gang in America. They're based on the Hell's Angels. They might be based a little bit on the Aryan Brotherhood as well, um, which is like a neo-Nazi gang. Um, so, you know, gangs like this do exist in real life. And um, I know what some people are probably going to be thinking. Some people are probably going to be thinking, but didn't the Angels of Death deal with the, the uh, triads in um, GTA 4 in the Lost and Damned? They did. But the thing about that is a lot of gangs are racist, but they still deal with other gangs uh, to make money. Um, you know, for example, the Italian Mafia is very racist against non-Italians, but they do deals with a lot of, you know, uh, gangs and mafias that are not um, Italians. So, they will de work with, like, other gangs, you know, of other, you know, um, other ethnicities, but they will not, um, uh, you know, uh, have any, any other ethnicity except white in their gang. And if you remember, in, in, in GTA 4, um, every single Angel of Death member was white. Where in the Lost and Damned, you know, their members were just mixed. They were, you know, women, men, they were black, they were Asian, they were Hispanic. So this is the Mafia guy. Oh, I like this guy's theme. I know our people usually don't get along, but things have got to change if we're all going to survive. I'm deeply touched that you care about the triads, Mr. Diavanzo, but I just need the rat's name. You're touched, that's nice. Listen, once this rat's um, put you a lot inside, he's going to start doing the same thing to us. So just give me his name, and we can all live happily ever after. Apart from him, of course, he'll live not so happily for not that long. We've got to be real careful. I think he's on to me. His men could be here any minute looking for me. His name? Jimmy Carpa, a Messina made man. The same guy who is currently being real friendly with your boss. A wise guy, figures. So, uh, how come you don't take him out? The Messinas and my people have been enemies for years. We'd never get close enough. But a triad could. Now that we're all buddies, right? Okay, so we're getting ambushed here. Okay, let's get the AK-40. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's get the shotgun out. We haven't really used this. Oh, it switched up. Okay. These guys are wearing body armor. Damn, they're in, they're in really good cover. Okay. I gotta do the wise guy accent. You're effing natural. This is gonna work out just fine. So next time I see him, I gotta do the wise guy accent. I can actually do it pretty well. But here's the thing, you know, um, uh, you know, I grew up with a lot of people in, like, New York that actually had accents very similar to that. Um, I'm actually surprised I never developed an accent like that despite growing up near a lot of people. I'm not talking about mobsters. I'm just talking about people that just have, you know, the, um, you know, stereotypical, like, New York accent. Um, the thing is, though, when you watch, like, a lot of movies, though, you, like, um, people think that it's, like, a gangster accent or a wise guy accent, as I called it just before, but it's not. It's a New York accent. I know plenty of people that have those accents that you see in, like, the gangster movies, and they're not gangsters. Nothing to do with it. And there's also a misconception. There's a misconception that everybody that has an accent, you know, like that, that they are, um, you know, in the, uh, Italian also. Uh, but the thing is, though, plenty of people don't, aren't Italian, and have accents like that. There was this um, one kid that I knew who his parents were actually from Russia in my same neighborhood as me, and he had that type, that same type of accent. It was like, basically, like, hey, how you doing? You know, basically like that type of accent. And he was not even one percent Italian. You know, he was Russian American. So there's um uh, uh so that's generally a New York accent. The reason that you hear that accent in a lot of gangster movies is because the gangsters are from New York. That's why you hear that accent a lot of times.
but people falsely think that it's a, a gangster accent. From Wade Heston, subject got it. Huang, I've got great news, buddy. Come and see me. I'll be in Easton. Okay. Okay, wonder what that's about. Hopefully, you know, he has some good news for us. We've been running around like crazy. But I think that the rat, the rat is probably either Zhao or Chan. That's what I think. I think the rat's either Zhao or Chan. It's got to be either one of them. Now, the reason I think it's either Zhao or Chan, Chan might have gotten desperate when he got arrested and started squealing. And also, he might think that by squealing, he might move up higher in the triads. And Zhao... By, you know, by ratting out his, his rivals, he's moving up faster in the triads, too. So somebody like Zhao, I could totally see somebody like Zhao doing that. So I guess we'll see. Scrambled. Okay. My eagerly uh, talking friend, the FBIB, has an Ill illegal wiretap. That's been compromised. If we fix it for him, he'll give us the name of their rat. F that, friend. You're wasting my time. Sin already thinks I'm the fe federal rat, and you want me to work for them? How's it gonna uh, look if your uncle finds out you've been working for me, a cop? It would look bad until I killed you, you piece of crap. I'm going cold turkey while IAD are all over me, but I'm still doing the right thing. You do the right thing, destroy the scrambler and screw him with the feds wiretap. Then your life and mine can start getting back to normal. Locate the scrambler by heading towards the wiretap, okay. Closer to the scrambler, okay. Okay, it's gonna be either left or right now. Hey. That alley. Who's this guy? Who the hell are you? Okay. DPS is still getting interference. Okay. I already see him on that roof. Oh, a new gun. MP5, okay. More scramblers? Okay. There it is. Ah. There we go, we got that, okay. Sorry, Huang. Firstly, sorry about my frets when we spoke. I was all over the place. It's tough breaking the habits of a, of, of a lifetime. Secondly, great work. As soon as my contact gives me the rat's name, I'll email you. Heston. Or at least he apologized. From Xin Xiaoming, WMD, that means the weapons of mass destruction. I'm informed that our former subordinates attacked you and my men when you peacefully asked to see their files. Yeah, that we didn't peacefully ask to see their files. We blew a hole in their wall. Uh, their files had held details of huge arm shipments which they're about to take delivery. Uh, meet me on Charge Island, Xin Xiaoming. Okay. Oh, and there was a... What was this here? T 
tip off. Uh, I never read this. From Wu Kenny Lee, this should help you. Nephew, while Sin has you running errands for the mob, it might be worth your while using one of our old save outs near the Spanish Lord's territory in Northwood. Yours, Uncle Kenny. Okay. Another email? It's time to move. Rudy the Avanza. So Mr. Uh, Mr. Lee, come see me and I'll be in North Holland. North Holland, that's, um, uh, okay. That's North Algonquin. I'm gonna try my best to do his accent. I imagine how he would talk. Steal the wheels. We hit a digital recorder in Jimmy Copper's car. By now, it'll be full of evidence proving he's the Fed's rat, and probably a cross-dresser, too. We need that recorder, so we're gonna hit his car, and you're a perfect guy to steal it. Capper might be friendly with the triads, but his greaseball mobsters, uh, no offense, aren't gonna let me just steal his car. Of course not. They're gonna let anyone take it. But an Egro like you, no offense, can get closer to it than any of my guys. It should be parked over at the Messina's Boulevard compound. Lots of luck. Why didn't you plant a bug like a normal person? I thought you were a wise guy. And I thought you were bringing uh, me takeout, because they sweep uh, for radio signals, genius. Now get on with it. So that was my best attempt at that accent. I can also, you know, do- I can do kind of the lighter, like, New York accent, which is, Hey, how you doing? And stuff like that. But then there's the, um, uh, you know, there's the more deeper accent where you go like, Hey, teach, what are we doing? Like, you know, stuff like that. So there's like, you know, there's the um, uh, different different kinds of accents, and New Jersey and New York accents are kind of similar to each other. It's a little hard to tell them apart, oftentimes. Get into the compound and steal the car. Okay. Okay. Oh, what the? Oh god. Oh no no! Yeah, when you're dealing with this type of situation, you want to make sure you leave no witnesses. I want the Mafia coming after you now. Okay. 3, 4, 2, 6, okay. Ah. Okay. Now, the Messinas appeared in GTA 4. They didn't play that much of a role. Um, uh, well, okay. But there, uh, there's five families in, in Liberty City in, um, in GTA 4, and they're based on the real life five families. Um, but you have the uh, Gambettis, which are based on the, um, Gambinos. You have the, um, uh, you have the Ancelottis, um, you have the Pavanos, and you have the Messinas. Now, the Messinas, I think, are based on the, um, Genovese family. Actually, maybe Ancelotti's are based on the Genovese family, but I know Gambetti um, is based on Gambino. Good job. Once we dug digital recorder out of this piece of crap, I'll be in touch. I don't trust that guy, by the way. Not at all. Zero. You know, that guy's gonna probably screw Huang over. You know, he's just trying to save himself. You know, that's, um... You know, I, I trust Heston more than I trust that guy. So, um, uh, I guess we will wrap it up here then, guys. Um, if you guys enjoyed the, um... Enjoyed the video, do drop a like. It does help me to make more content like this. And, um, I will see you guys on the next one. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful day, everyone.
these streets like a renegade. Hit that guap to the rent is paid. Hurt my brain in the 